Alright, so what's going on guys? Fire Shadow here, and um, well, have you ever wanted your game thumbnails to look like this? Maybe this? Or how about this? Oh my god, what have I done? Well, you're in luck. I'm gonna teach you how to do it. So first off, full disclaimer, not all games support this. And second off, this is not any mod. This is this does not require any form of modding to the game whatsoever. What this basically is, is NVIDIA's GeForce Experience game filter. It's exactly the same filters they use with photo mode. So if we go into multiplayer, go into custom games, just gonna bring up one of my classes, just, yeah, like my HG40 class, like that. Now, if I press my key combination, for you it's probably Alt Z, for me it's Alt, it's Alt End. This is gonna pop up, and this is what you're wanna, gonna wanna focus on, the game filter. So what this basically is, it is it, it talks directly to the graphics that the game is outputting to the GPU, which in turn is outputting it to the monitor. This is basically gonna alter some of the code. This is not gonna get you VAC banned. I have not been VAC banned, and this is officially supported by most games. So, what I usually want to show off is something like sharpen. This is gonna sharpen up your game. So, you mean like ignore film grain and stuff like that? You can remove it, you can add depth of field. This one we'll get back to later. We can make the game black and white. We can increase the brightness and contrast. Increase exposure. Increase contrast. Highlights. Change all that. Gamma, if we really want to. And well, this is basically... The sky's the limit here. So, what we're going to be doing is, we're going to be hopping into a quick game of bo Freeze um, Custom Games. I'm going to choose the map, uh, let's do... Let's do Nuketown, because that's the most vibrant and colorful map in the base game. And I am going to... Change the time limit to no time limit. Let's start the game. And here we are. Apologies if I sound a little bit unenergetic un because it's currently like what four in the morning for me at the time of this recording. So this is BO3, basic game, you know, exo movement, all that stuff. Yeah. Let's see here. If we do all page up, which is my key combination, I can go here and add depth of field. This is gonna be very specific at to what you want, but this is gonna be useful for, yeah, like that, when you wanna create some thumbnails without having to use something complicated like Photoshop. So if we get all page up again, this, now everything in front of the gun is completely brought out. This is talking directly to your game's depth of field settings. The, it doesn't matter if you have them on or off, this is gonna alter it either way. And let me clarify once again, this will not get you back banned. And as you can see, a little bit of the boost meter and the ammo counter is still visible because, you know, it's behind the gun. But this is basically what NVIDIA has for their photo mode. It's basically a specific, like, it's a, it's a filter, basically. So you can move around and take some good photos without having to, you know, go into photo mode all the time and hide the panel all the time. And well, let's see what we can do with this thing. So I have a little bit of a setup here that I use for my thumbnails, at least in my BO3 thumbnails. I do alt page up and this one. This is what I'm going to be using for some of my BO3 videos coming up. And this is basically what I like using. And well, if we go to Alt End, Game Filter, I have removed HUD, which is still in beta. Keep that in mind. It's not gonna work for every game that has a HUD. 
depth of field, and it looks a little bit like this. I can invert it to make the gun blurred instead of the environment blurred. And I can do details. I have it on this setting. Now, another thing is, you can actually change these on the fly with simple commands without having to go into the game filter manually. So if I press Alt Up, which is my keybind for activating the deactivate game filter, I can just do that again. Now, again, your GeForce experience bind, go into game filter, choose your style, and then just go to town. I would, if you really want to be something like nuts, make it like an old movie, you can do this. And that's basically it. That's all I wanted to show in regards of the NVIDIA game filter. Now keep in mind, this will not work on an AMD GPU. This is only reserved for NVIDIA's GTX and RTX line of graphics cards. I might want to change that back into this. So, well, that's gonna be about it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Fire Shadow, and I'll see you in the next one. Later!